Good afternoon, grace and peace to our Lord Jesus, from our Lord Jesus Christ to you and from all the saints here in Central California. So today I want to talk a little bit about um, an issue we were having last week. We were um, experiencing some really high latency from uh, some uh, VPN users that we have. We have a group of radiologists um, who connect to our network by a VPN called Global Protect. Um, and they were complaining that, uh, and rightly so, they were complaining that it was taking forever to load their applications. And forever is a, is a term that people use when they mean more than 30 seconds. Um, taking more than 30 seconds to load their application and they were getting disconnected frequently. Um, and there was no rhyme or reason to, to why this was happening. So uh, first thing I did is try to rule out myself, try to make sure there were no network issues going on here um, at my location. Um, I did that, I looked, I looked at my network utilization, internet utilization, because they come in over the internet through Global Protect VPN. Um, there, was, there were no issues there. Um, but I was still trying to figure out, okay, is, is there anything I can do that could help them out? And uh, the one thing I did do was set up a quality of service for them so that their traffic would be given priority handling over everyone else's traffic. Now, I'm not going to go into what you know, quality of service, what QoS, how it all works. Um, needless to say, there are bits that get set into packets, inside the packets that, that uh, the different uh, network devices look for and prioritize the handling thereof. Um, we, the thing is, we can't control quality of service over the internet, but we can control it between our endpoints. So between our firewall and the, the client's VPN connection, it's some client software that's running on their machine, we can connect, we can uh, control quality of service between those two points and at least give them um, higher priority. I mean, once, once they're on their internet, you know, it's, it's wild west out there. But once they get here, they get priority handling. And we can also um, set aside a portion of our firewalls where they connect to our firewalls bandwidth. Um, so that's what I did. And that's what you should be looking at here is I set up a QoS policy rule. And I said, if you're coming in from our Global Protect VPN zone and you are heading to our PAX servers, now PAX is a type of a radiology server where doctors can look at patients' x-rays and, and other things. There's other MRIs, whatever. Um, and if you don't know, uh, hospitals live and die on radiology x-rays. You don't get admitted without an x-ray. You don't get transferred without an x-ray. You don't get out. You don't get discharged without an x-ray. So it's kind of a big deal. So traffic to our PAC servers from out on the internet. I don't care what application it is. I don't care what service it is. Service would be like a TCP port. I don't care what, uh, so DSCP and TOS are also ways to set quality of service. Uh, DSCP is differentiated services control point. Um, that's used a lot in like VoIP applications, video applications. You can set a higher priority on packets. Type of service is more at the, uh, the layer two level. And I'm saying, I don't care what it is. I want to get, I want to get priority to this. And I want to, to set it at class three. So once we get that all set up, then we come over here and we have to set up a QoS uh, profile. And so what I did is set up a profile saying, all right, if, if I just named it pack servers, but I'm basically, you know, I said I, I defined class three traffic in that role we were just looking at. I said, okay, class three traffic coming through, give it high priority. 300 megabits is the max I'm going to give it. That's our max bandwidth. That's the most they can have. The guaranteed bandwidth I'm going to give them is 100 megabits. 
Now, if they don't use all that, that's fine. But if they need it, then they're guaranteed at least that much. And again, this is just for doctors using radiology applications. So fine, we set that up. That's our QoS profile. That's the class of traffic we're gonna be manipulating. And then we come over here to the actual QoS policy. I'm sorry, the actual interface that we're gonna uh, set up QoS on. So I'm saying, all right, we're gonna set it up on Ethernet 1.1, which is our outside interface. And I want tunnel traffic to use one of these two profiles, either tunnel 110, which is our global protect tunnel, or tunnel 204, which is something that we're not really concerned with right now. <laughs> that's, that's a set of servers that we want to lower the priority. This is a set of servers we want to raise the priority. And I'm saying we are going to apply both of these profiles, these profiles here, are going to be applied to these two IPSEC tunnel interfaces on this physical interface right here. And remember, here's the profiles we're going to use. So this other guy is limited to 40 megabits and max is out at 50. I'm guaranteeing him 40, but 50 is all he's ever going to get. For the PAC servers, I'm guaranteeing 100. 300 is all they're ever going to get. That's our max bandwidth. So these are the two profiles. This is the interface we're applying it to. These are the two tunnels that it's going to work on. So you do all that, you click this commit button up here, which is already done, I don't need to do that. So how do you know if it's working? There's a little statistics thing here, and we can get in here and look. So here's the interface. Here's the tunnel traffic that we're worried about. There's how much uh, bandwidth we're using in real time on the outside interface. Here's the tunnel traffic, and here's how much it's all using. So you can see this tunnel 110, which is the radiologists, they're using about 12 megabits, five megabits, two, changes all the time. But as long as I see this incrementing right here, here's the class I set up, class three, that's incrementing then I know this is all working right. So we set that up for them and it did help. But what really helped most of all, our internet connection goes through another entity, we'll call them. Um, and that entity, entity shares our internet connection. Well, <laughs> they were uh, doing a huge file copy up to the internet, to a cloud service. And uh, yeah, once we told them to stop that, once we once they admitted they were doing it and we told them to stop it, that's what really cured the problem. But what I've done here should help mitigate that in the future. So uh, we'll we'll see how that uh, that all plays out. Anyway, that's all I got for this week. So let me uh, you know, let's do this. Stop that. That's all I got for this week. Thanks you all so much for watching. If you like what you saw, click subscribe, click the bell if you want, and if not, have a blessed week. We'll catch you next time. Bye.